Rainmaker 0909. What I thought I would do is give a short video on uh, what I've been working on and what I've found. One of them is, as you can see in the background, is the little white bubbler that I was using. The little white one there. Okay. Now I have that giant bubbler. I'll zoom in so you can see the bubbles going through it. Right there, what they're doing is they're coming out of one scrubby, and then I put a space between them, and then they have to butt up against another one and then find their way through it. So it's um, doing pretty well, I think. Let's see if I can zoom in on the... Uh... The deal is how much smoke is good or how much of it is bad. What I'm thinking is I'm going to get rid of as much of it as I can. And the way that I've been thinking about doing it is I've been using one of these giant bubblers like this. The problem is, is that they have a hard time being fit into a vehicle. So what I'm going to do, you saw the smoke. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, shut the camera down and I'm going to hook them up direct without going through the bubbler and then I'll get right back with you. It just take a second. Hold on. All right, I've disconnected it. As you can see, off the top of the bubbler. And that was the inlet. That goes to the bottom of the bubbler. And there's the, uh, yeah, where I coupled them together. Follow it around. Well, as you can see, there's definitely more of it. And that's coming right off of the uh, canister itself. And so what I'd like to do is a uh, efficiency test with and without bubbler and then uh, maybe get a little bit better idea about what's going on okay so i'll be right back okay i'm trying to get everything in frame uh there's no room for the clock that i finally got so we're gonna have to do it the old-fashioned rainmaker way three two one mark and we'll see how long it takes it to go up but now you noticed the canister is only a hundred and what one or two, so this thing's not going to make a tremendous amount of gas. My electrolyte concentration went down, and subsequently, so did the output. Here it comes. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and hook the bubbler back up, and we'll take an efficiency rating reading there so if you just give me a minute i'll uh, make the connections all right i've made the connections um i want to show them to you there's the inlet there's the outlet you see the bubbler it, it's bubbling show you the temperature again It's just over a hundred, maybe one six, something like that. You can see the smoke. It's not as much as it was. Uh, the video really doesn't do it justice because it's it's a lot less than it was before. But we're going to check the efficiency of the cell by what we did the first time. I still have it on my stopwatch. It's twenty seven seconds. So I'm going to clear it. Start again. Three, two, one. Mark. We'll see if it does anything better or worse. Or any change at all. There might not be any change. I don't know for sure. I tried it once, but I always want to try something more than once. It's almost there. Okay, I got uh, I got 20 second, seconds there too. So basically, you can see the amount that's coming out of it. It's as wide as it looked before, but it's not near as um, there. There just is as much volume. It looks like there is on the video but but there really isn't so the big bubbler is working 
Now all I need to do is figure out how to make that big bubbler something a little smaller and more manageable. It, it's so big that I don't, you know, there's no way that it fit in most normal cars. In fact, it won't even fit in my truck. So, but I had to experiment with it to try and get some of that smoke down. And remember, it's only at a hundred and what, three degrees, 104 degrees? I don't remember exactly. So it's not like it's steam because it's only 100, just a little over 100 degrees. So it's something else. So whatever it is, I'd like to keep it in a bubbler or something rather than putting it in an engine without knowing what it is for sure. That's, that's what I want because I don't want to take any chances. Brand new motor. I don't feel like uh, tearing it up. The other thing is, if you look at that tube, no, it's a relay behind it, but look how clear the tube is. You can see just a little bit of water condensation, but that's from when we had it running straight through. If you let this run for, say, an hour, half an hour, that tube will get clear right down to the bottom. In fact, I should have done that first, and I apologize. So it's a little bit deceiving, but like I said, little bubbler, giant bubbler, seems to make a difference on the smoke output. So if you have any comments, hey, go ahead and leave them. Uh, go ahead and rate it, but the comments are great. If there's anything like the last video, there'll be plenty of comments. If you got any questions or anything like that, if I can help you, I will, not a problem. Hey, this is Rainmaker, 0909. I'm out of here. Bye.